computer. Good morning and afternoon slash evening for uh, everybody in the UK. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the uh, Team Next Generation team call. It is December 9th. Uh, and today we are going to um, talk a lot about how to finish up this year, how to uh, um, get ready for January, because January, everybody knows, is going to be a massive month to help people. Everybody is excited about kind of getting their year started in January. So we have an opportunity, a massive opportunity, I believe, um, to really, really, really not just uh, take those people and give them a really solid plan, uh, but also change ourselves completely at the same time, which is an incredible option because, or an incredible opportunity because it allows us to be product of the product and really get results for ourselves, aside from everybody else, just for ourselves. So we're going to walk you through that process today, um, give you some quick insight as to what we're going to do. Uh, this probably isn't going to be an exceptionally long call, um, but it will give us all the time to kind of hash out as a group too. Maybe you guys have some things that you can throw into this or some insight that you can give us as well and maybe some ideas on ways to, to play with this plan. Um, this is a rough roadmap, but I think it's a pretty solid roadmap and then you guys can jump in as well and people can share. I would love to hear you guys share um, your, your process as well. Mm. So, uh, let's jump in. First of all, again, does anybody have anything? Um, so now that we have some new people on, does anybody have anything that they want to share that they're proud of for themselves or for anybody else in the group um, from last week? Anything that that you guys want to give yourselves like, hey, I did this and I'm, and I'm proud of this. Madeline. I do. It might not be relevant at all, but um, I've just finished my um, first um, personal vet development book just started on the next one um, and I started Call de Force last week and I absolutely love it. Nice. I am, I'm a mini ninja. I'm only four foot 11, <laughs> but I'm now a ninja. <laughs> I'm now a ninja. What book did you read? Um, so I just finished um, the badass one, how to be a nice. badass, that's what they're called. Yeah. And then I've just started the other one in the um, virtual book club that Dion is doing. Nice. The, Which uh, has got swearing in, so I won't say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's all around not giving. Yes. Um, yes. Great, great book. Yeah. So I give myself tokens. I have only so many F tokens a day. And once they're gone, tough luck to anyone who comes along. <laughs> that's awesome. No, that's a, that's a great book. And guys, I mean, honestly, that's a huge one because... I've said it, and you're going to hear this a million more times. All of all this is, this whole thing is about us working on ourselves physically, but mentally mainly. And a million times, I just did a video on it the other day, actually in a book that I'm reading right now called um, Great Leaders Ask Great Questions. I believe it's, it's called, um, he actually talks a lot. He talks about one of the things he hits on, which I thought was extremely important to really kind of wrap our head around was uh, um, the fact that you will only commit to something to the amount that you believe you are capable of achieving it. And all the only reason that we believe or don't believe that we're capable of achieving something is what we're telling ourselves right here. And that's craziness because if you think about it, if you only commit 50% because subconsciously you only believe that you're willing, that you're able to, to achieve 50%, well, you're going to get 50% of the results. And that might not be enough to sustain you to a place where you feel like you can keep on going. Workouts. And it has anything to do with anything. Like it has, you know, it can be coaching, it can be the workouts, it can be eating well, it can be your family, it can be your job. I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be, but understanding that this is what's going to guide you and, and at the same time, this is what's going to hold you back. And that's it, especially in coaching, that's it. That's that's a pretty pretty important thing to work on. It's a pretty important muscle. So I love that you're taking a lead on that and you're going for it because it's a huge thing and it's what's going to get you through this process. And I know, you know, you and I have been, have been talking and guys – so Madeline, you and Jen are kind of similar in this, in this framework that you both were like, when I first talked to Jen, um, Jen was very like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I was going to say like, Jen, raise your hand. Uh, Madeline, when I first talked to Jen, Jen was the same way. She was very kind of like, she, she was very nervous about putting herself out there and, and jumping into doing all this. You were the same way when we first started talking, kind of nervous about, you know, jumping into this and, and getting involved in that kind of thing. And both of you are just in, I mean, like for you and just in this entire, this is short time, 
you guys are entirely different people. And I'm sorry, Jen made a really good point the other day. I needed to share it. You are the same people. However, you are a more, a, a, a bigger version of what you want to be, right? Is that, how did you say that, Jen? Sorry, the other day, guys, you can use this as a post. This was epic. The way she phrased this. Mm -hmm. um, it was, I'm the same person. I'm just more of the person that I want to be, more of the person that's inside that I haven't brought out. Yes. I have a tendency to want to say that you, I've changed and I'm a different person, right? I'm a, you know, and the way she said that was like, no, 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 no. I'm the same exact person that I used to be. Finally, I'm just now allowing myself to show who I really am and who I've always wanted to be. And so I'm seeing more of that out there. I think that was, I was like, you said that. I'm like, oh, and I'm so going to use that in a post <laughs> at some point. <laughs> true. Um, anybody else have any, have any wins that they want to share? Anything? Anybody have any struggles that they're dealing with? from last week, anything that's frustrating or, or concerning that we can throw some light on here before we jump into anything? Um, I've kind of a depleted my friends list as far as people uh, So we can talk more after, you know, offline about this. But. Sorry, Dan, you're cutting out. It sounds like you're saying that you've you've kind of gone through all your friends list. Is that correct? Yeah, I've gone through all the friends my friends list and uh, um um uh, I'm Dan, I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm, I don't know. Does anybody else, is it just mine? Can anybody else here? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm literally getting, we're getting like maybe one letter, every sentence of, of what you're saying. All right. Oh, wait, maybe that's better. Um, it sounds like, and so I'll, I'll jump in here real quick. It sounds like you're saying you, you kind of got it through all the friends that you have and now you're kind of looking for people to reach out to and people to connect with. It looks like that might be better, Dan. I think I can, I think your reception. Yeah, I'm trying to turn the sound back up on this thing. All right. <clears throat> um, I kind of went through all my friends list and I'm, I'm pretty much stalled out uh, as far as who to invite. Um, yeah, I guess we can, we can talk more offline about this too, but that's, that's what I'm struggling with. Totally. And I appreciate you saying that actually. Um, and so we will chat a little bit more on offline because there's a few different things real quick keys. And if anybody wants to jump in here, um, feel free, uh, real quick keys is our <coughs> questions I'd ask is, are you adding three people at minimum? Not much more if it's Facebook. Um, but adding three people every single day to the front, to your friends list. And, uh, um, if you're not doing that, then that would be the first place I'd start. And we can talk offline about exactly how to do that. Um, the, the, there's a lot of different ways, and I put it that way. And then uh, um, there's also those people that you've invited. You can also go through and make sure that you're following up with them as well, because who might say not respond today or not might be the right time for them today? That's totally fine. It's not going to be the right time for everybody, right? So we we've got people that we have reached out to and invited without a response, literally eight, yeah. ten times over year or year and a half and they've never responded to a message and it, you would think that you're driving them insane but as long as you throw the you know like we always throw the the message in there hey i really hope i'm not bugging you please if i am just tell me you know mm -hmm. uh, it's not that my intent at all you know it's very non nonchalant very you know no pressure and then eventually they come around they go oh, now is the time or they'll reach out to you even in, in time so following up is really important so that's one thing but that doesn't really address the adding more friends so the more thing is that we add more friends and we can get um, deeper into specifically how to do that um, offline to, you know, for you, cause there's a bunch of different ways. Does anybody else have any other thing that I'm missing on that, that they want to throw in there or any quick tips on how they add friends or how they find a, an audience to speak to that's, that uh, is really solid. <clears throat> Nobody. Okay. Um, yeah. So we'll, Dan, we'll talk a little bit more about that um, offline, but, it's a, it's a, it's a good, it's a good issue to have because it says that you're inviting people and you're talking to people. 
So as long as you're doing that, you're, you're in the process that we need to be. And we'll talk about how to kind of have more of a, more of a uh, audience to chat with. Sound good? Okay. Cool, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. Um, okay, guys. So who is excited or who is scared? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you are scared or nervous about 80-day obsess. 80-day obsess. 80-day obsess. Oh, my gosh. Can somebody please help me with the name? Obsession. 80-day obsession. I could not come up with it. So who, who's nervous? Everybody? A little bit? Who's like, there's no way you're not even talking to me and there's no way I'm doing this? Raise your hand if you're like, there's no way I would ever touch 80-day obsess. Madeline, obsession. I'm totally talking you into this. Don't even. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> okay, so guys, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to share what Deanna and I are doing and why I think this program, it, understanding it's, I don't want to say it's limitations because it's not, there's no limitations, but understanding, I think, what it's all about and understanding um, who it's for and how to implement it, I think is going to really, 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 maybe your, maybe your focus on whether or not you're feeling comfortable with attending or getting involved in it, but also um, to understand why you know, why I think it's so important and why I think it's going to be such a game changer for so many people in this. Uh, first of all, d does anybody, does anybody not raise your hand if you have no clue what, what, what it is, what it is. Talk, it's so early. I can't talk this morning. It's ridiculous, but every, everybody knows what it is to an extent or at least a little bit. Okay. So I'm just going to go through, we posted, Donna, you did post that video of, um, of Autumn in the team page, right? I didn't see it in there, but Okay, I know you probably did. Um, so if you haven't watched that, make sure you watch that too. Scroll through and watch hers because I'm just going to pull information that uh, that she shared and then share why, why I'm excited for it. So really quick, I posted it the other day and it's a YouTube link, but there's no actual photo. It just says like YouTube, you oh, know what I mean? Weird. Like it's, it's weird. So, but yeah, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to actually see if I can just do the link and then post a picture so it's easier to see when you scroll. Yeah, it'd be awesome. If you can, it'd be great. Um, Okay, so here's why I'm excited about it. And then, Jenna, will you do me a favor while I'm talking about this real quick? Will you um, just get the schedule like like our uh, um, this you know uh, a little obsessed group starts this day, th you know this one starts this day, the challenge group starts on the you know on the 15th or 18th or whatever it is in January, so that I can kind of so we can have the framework for everybody. Um, thank you. I already know it. So do you want me to write it down or no 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 no? no. I I, so I didn't know if you knew it like off the top of your head or if you had to grab it. So I wanted to make sure that you had it. So it was me. Have it. Okay, good, good. Um, okay, so if if anybody's watching this in the recording and you're not sure what, what it is, um, this is going to be, think about it this way. This is going to be per, being personally trained by Autumn Calabrese every single day for 80 days starting in January. Like legitimately, that's why they did this program the way they built this program the way they built it. It's to a place of, it's, it's focused um, secondarily, okay? Secondarily, it's focused on your core and your glutes. But that is not the primary focus and, and purpose of building this, this workout. And th these are the reasons that I'm excited about it and that I think a lot of people are going to be excited about it. it. It trains your core and your glutes. However, when she was talking about it in this video, and you'll hear, it's it was focused. The primary focus was just moving your body in the space that you're in, meaning that you're, it's building your capabilities. It's building your, you know, you're talking balance, you're talking core strength because your core is, it, you know, you have to do other exercises and having a strong core means that you don't injure yourself doing other things, right? The, the, the way that uh, she, she was talking about, she's like, I'm sick of seeing people talk about how to grow and, and strengthen your glutes we don't use our glutes the way that we used to use our glutes back in the day. Now we sit on our butt at desks all day and we are not nearly as active as we used to be. So there are certain things that she was taking into consideration when putting the program together <clears throat> that are far beyond just having a squat butt, right? That, you know what I mean? Like everybody's, you know, seeing that, Oh, and she's like, and that was one of the things she hit on. She's like, I'm sick of seeing people talk about, Hey, you want You want to round rear do squats. Let's get squats. She's like, Squats don't even engage your glutes. They engage. They don't engage them primarily. That's your quads. It, you know your glutes are engaged in other in other ways. And so there's a lot of importance in training your core and your glutes. And what it takes to train those 
it's important to, to recognize that, hey, by really developing these two things, we have to do a bunch of other things that are also going to help us deal with just having capability. And as we age, this is what's really important. So not only will this help us to look a certain way, right, which many of us are, or reach certain fitness goals, which many of us want and many people want, but in the process of doing that, it helps us with the important things, which I believe the more important things are, which is just to be physically capable so that we can go out and actually experience life and do stuff above and beyond. You know, like, like as a guy, right, we can go to the gym and we'll upper body. Yeah. And that's what I did for 16 years, right? Like leg day, forget that, man. That sucks. That's hard. I'd rather just do biceps all day long. Right. But that doesn't make me capable. It might make me look the way that I want to look, but it doesn't make me actually be able to be functional and capable in the space around me with the family and do all the things and explore all the things that we want to do or just the day-to-day -day stuff, right? Just the simple stuff, walking to the store, right? Or whatever it is, you know, shopping, like the stuff that we want to do. That's what this is all about. So I think it's, I'm really excited for it on that front. Um, okay. She also talks about, uh, uh, so it's 80 days. Each individual workout is different. You'll never repeat the same workout in that 80 days. Now, there's a lot of important stuff to that, that, I'm, that I'm excited about, and she talked about in, in this video again, is it means that she is capable of changing the workout as you go along. So one of the things that she hit on is she's like, there's certain things in like 21 Day Fix, for instance, where it's seven videos or seven workouts, right? She goes, there's certain things we can't do. If we're only doing seven workouts, I can't build on the workouts as you progress through the program. So she's like, I, I'm forced, I, I'm, I'm limited to, okay, then you do these and you repeat and we just kind of create this. But she's like, there's certain things that I can do that she can do in an 80, 80 day program where she takes these, these skill sets that you've learned in the very beginning. And as you get stronger, she can build on them and she can also help push you past plateaus. So it's legitimately, instead of just following a, a workout like we normally would, which works, we've seen how well those work. Now imagine, this is the way I'm thinking about it. We've seen how well this stuff works. Now imagine what happens when you take it to the next, not the next level in intensity, but the next level in, in uh, dialing it in, if that, makes, if that makes any sense. So she's been able to say, hey, I can get you guys even beyond the plateaus in that, in that 80 days that you will, your body will naturally you know, acclimate and come to. I can get them past, I can get your body past those because she's got 80 days to work with it every day, something a little bit different. And so that alone to me is a massive deal because here's the one thing that, that I've personally learned. Um, and you guys, and like, if you, if you disagree with this, raise your hand, cause I would love to hear what your input is on this. Um, but I feel like one of the, one of the biggest motivators for people is just seeing results, just moving in a forward motion, seeing that their body is changing is a massive deal. And our goal is to get people those results. Well, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but I know in my life I've experienced that if I start doing something and it's doing the hard work and it's, you know, I'm doing workouts, I'm eating well, like that's the hard stuff. That's why we, I love what we get to do. We're not giving you a pill. We're, te we're taking you the hard route, which is why it's sustainable and why it works. Well, the hard stuff works, but if you're not seeing results, it's also the easy stuff to quit, right? So if, in a program like this where you've got 80 days where you're constantly, she's constantly pushing you past the plateau and things are switching up a little bit, your body never really has a chance to get used to and completely comfortable with something, then your body, you're just going to, you her process is it's going to see better results. You're going to see them more consistently throughout that 80 days. That's a big deal to me. And I feel like that's a big deal to people that we get to help because if we can get them to see more visual results or feel stronger, you know, the, you know, strength results, or even get them to a place where they just feel like they've got more energy and they feel better, but they can like, as they see it kind of more immediately and it constantly changes and it doesn't plateau, that's a massive deal. So that's one of the reasons that uh, I'm really excited about the way the format's working. Uh, also the, the nutrition plan. Um, so it's what they call timed nutrition. She was sharing about this too. And she's like, this isn't about, um, this isn't about being super, 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 super strict. She said, or, or especially this is not about uh, um, intermittent, intermittent fasting, right? That was one of her big things because she, I guess, gets a lot of those questions. Timed, is it about fasting for, you know, specific periods of time? No, no, no. She said, what this is, is answering everybody's questions because a lot of people had questions. Of, well, what if I, 
you know, what if I uh, work out in the morning or what if I work out in the evening or, you know, when do I eat these things or what if I have this issue or if, if I can't eat all my food and I end up at the end of the day with this, you know, this container and this container that's not to eat, what do I eat? Because this is weird, you know, all these questions that she's been kind of fielding for the past however many years, right? This is her just saying, look, I'm just, I'm answering those questions. So I'm going to tell you what containers to eat with what meal. You pick what goes inside of those containers, but I'm going to tell you what containers and when to eat them based on the workouts and stuff, because that also is going to help you get results. And one of the things she was saying is, she's like, guys, pushing past the plateau doesn't just mean doing something completely crazy. She's like, it can be working out in the afternoon instead of working out in the morning. Minute changes, just changing up your nutrition plan a little bit. When you eat certain things, right? What you're eating, all of those things can have your body go, whoa, what the heck is going on? And push you into results. So to me, the reason I think this is such an important program, to be honest, uh, important, not just like exciting, is because it's going to give us another level of understanding of how all of this stuff works. And at the end of the day, we all want to be a product of the product because we know that it's going to be good for us, right? It's, it, it's, it's better for our health, right? Shakeology is, 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 we're not going to get nutrients like that in anything else that we can put in our mouth, especially in the U S like, sorry, our food is raw. So we're not going to get anything else like that. Right. So it's about being healthy. It's about moving your body in a way that's efficient and works. Right. So all of this stuff works together. Well, that's why we know that this is solid stuff, right? That's why I'm excited. That's why I get excited about sharing it with other people, but this is just like di turning the dial up. It's even like, okay, now we're going to give you guys a little bit more because they finally have the technology and the platform to do something like this. They've never had the technology before to be able to do 80 days of workouts and be able to stream them and have a place for them to live so that everybody, because they couldn't do DVDs like this. It cost us like $2,000 per workout, right? So this is the very first time that they've been able to create something like this, something as dialed in. And that's amazing. Here's one of the things for those of you that are scared that I loved that she said and I, I took it I was like that is a really good point she goes this is not an obsession this is not being about you being obsessed with working out or about you being obsessed with eating healthy this is about you being obsessed with doing something good for yourself on whatever level you can do something good for yourself so it's not gonna it's not about being perfect about this program like okay, I have to be absolutely like perfect. And if I have ever messed up, I just need to like go away and this is terrible. It's, I mean, you're going to get amazing results if you can, but it's about being obsessed about you taking the time for yourself to spend that time and better yourself physically and mentally and recognize that if you want to be a better parent, employee, you know, entrepreneur, business owner, friend, you know, better for yourself, whatever it is, you have to take the time for yourself to, to better yourself so that you can be <clears throat> the best parent you can be and all the other things. So that's a lot of what this is all about. Does anybody have any questions about the program so far or just what it's going to entail or anything about it? I don't know. What's up? I think I do. Is it going to be like all the other programs where they're all on in one place and then you can go backwards? And so if I did one and I know I should then move on to the next one, but if I wanted to do it again because I hadn't mastered something or could you then redo that same workout? So they'll launch each week. They'll launch a week's worth. Is that correct? Yeah, like at the end okay. of it, Diana, isn't that right? I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm okay. not sure. Um, if I'm correct. So don't quote me. I'm pretty sure though that that's what I read that they, they launch them at a, a week at a time. And then once they're on there, they live there. They live on Beachbody On Demand. So then you'll be able to okay. go back and, and watch them. But uh, uh, I don't, let me double check that. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I remember reading it because I, I remember it saying, well, that was odd, a week so, at a time. But uh, so it's, they're always going to, they're always going to live on there. So it's not like you're not going to have access to them. So when they say that they're live workouts, it just means that they're they were recorded yeah. live and they're not edited. Um, <laughs> but they're not, we're not actually waiting for autumn to show up to work out live with mm -hmm. us. Like, like for a little obsessed that they did like last month, it's not like that. Um, so yeah, you definitely can. But one of the cool things about the program is that she's not going to, she's going to start you off maybe doing a squat and then, 
and then like a, and then a curl. And then the next one, she might like, she's going to have us progressing if that makes sense. So, so that way we'll, we'll be able to learn the moves and then we'll be able to compound and combine the moves. Um, so yeah, I mean, you always have access to it and availability to it. So you can go back, but I would just, you know, honestly, for the, for the pilot group that we're going to be doing, just trust the process and do each day and do your best. And we're going to be learning kind of together and, and mastering those moves um, all together. Um, so then once, sorry, once they're on, then other people can join uh, on a later date. So they don't have to start on the launch date. They could start a week late or whenever. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Um, one thing I wanted to I wanted to talk about, or a couple things I want to talk about, because I don't know who's watched the video. I just reposted it um, in the team page. Um, is just common questions that I get asked: Is um, alcohol um, allowed? No, it's not. I mean, at the end of the day, you get the results you want, and if you want to incorporate alcohol into the nutrition plan, you definitely can. But it's not. It's not like twenty one day fix where they allow, you know, or they mm -hmm. they work in um wine or chocolate but they do have something awesome called a refeed day <laughs> which which is like i i don't know exactly because they haven't released the nutrition plan yet but it's kind of i think a day where you get to go to town a little bit <laughs> so, <laughs> which is always pretty cool so something to look forward to and um yeah so and they they are going to be talking and promoting um the performance line um as well. And then um, I think Justin's going to tap on um, how you can get in the um, coach test group, which is really fantastic, not only because you're going to be training with Autumn each day live, so you can ask her questions, you can, you know, in, in a private Facebook group that's for coaches only. Um, but then it's kind of like, this is kind of a first time that they've done this, which is amazing because I know as a coach, I always want to be part of a test group because if you get great results, you get to submit those results. Those results get to be used in infomercials and online and it can really, you know, boost your confidence and then also boost your business as well because it's kind of cool to go, Hey, look what I did and I'm getting rewarded or noticed for making that transformation. So for me, that's kind of, not that I need like people to see me, but but I'm like, I want to get these results. Like I have a lot of friends that are like personal, um, what are they? What are they, honey? Personal like fitness, fitness competitors. Right. Oh, sure. And I'm like, and I want to show them that I can get really close to their results by doing it at home and, you know, not busting my butt for like hours and hours and hours and hours a day, but doing something really simple that, you know, I can help other people with too. So, um, I'm totally, I, sorry, I totally lost track of what I was saying just now as I was talking. I'm, yeah. I'm a little hungover. <laughs> um, that's all another subject, guys. Um, but no, 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 no. So yeah, FYI too, these workouts are going to be 45 minutes to an hour. So it, it, there is going to be a bit of a, a level of commitment to it. So here, and you, you did touch on something babe, that I, I wanted to share. Here's one of the things that this is why I would challenge people. And this is, so there's a lot of this, uh, to be honest, guys, there's a lot of this workout that makes me nervous about it, um, a little bit anxious about it, right? But I also recognize how important it is to trust the system and in, in, in when it comes to each body and what they put out. The fact of the matter is this. this is, it's, it's very straightforward. They don't just haphazardly throw out a program. There is a lot of science. There's a lot of test groups. There's a lot of work. They do a lot of research and development to give us stuff that works, right? That is not going to be easy, but it's going to be effective. That goes for the programs, that goes for the nutrition plans, that goes for the products, especially the ones that are like the performance line and Shakeology. And that, that is why I'm so behind them. This is why I bleed so blue, right? It, it also goes for coaching and how they talk about, you know, how to build a business. All of this stuff, none of it was by accident. And the, the deal is, even though I'm – a little anxious about certain parts of it. I also know that, look, I know if I trust it and I just dive into it, it's going to do what I want to do and I'm going to get results. And that's the important part for me. And it's not to say that it's not going to be scary or frustrating sometimes or, or like, Oh, I don't have that time, but it's a level of commitment that I think we, as people that are, are, are called to inspire others, we have to inspire ourselves to take that risk as well, right. To be committed as well. 
And I think that's the biggest part that I'm probably the most excited about this. It's not a 21 day program. It's not a 60 day program. It's not a program that's only got 22 minute workouts. It's gonna be hour long or 45 minutes, 80 days. It's gonna be dialed in nutrition. It's not gonna be easy, right? But we all know, I hope we all know at this point that the easy shit doesn't get us where we want to be. It's going to take the commitment. It's going to be the hard stuff. It's going to be the scary stuff that's going to push us past the plateau. That's going to push us beyond our limits and get us to, to a place where we're growing as people. And because we're growing as people and we're willing to take that risk, then other people are being inspired by it. And then they're willing to allow us to step into their life and help them take that risk. That's what's so important about this to me. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, I don't know if I can do this. Like this is just, it's scary and I don't have time and whatever it is, a million different reasons. But at the end of the day, I'm not saying that it's going to be simple or I mean, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. I'm not saying it's always going to be fun, but I would challenge you to, to step out of your comfort zone a bit. If you are scared of it, find the time because at the end of the day, we all can find the time if we have to. And go for it the best you can go for it and see what happens. Because the biggest thing that we talked about earlier about all of this is the mindset, right? And it's the confidence. If you believe you can do it, you'll put 100% into it, right? This is the way we get the confidence. I'm scared about the nutrition plan. Telling me what to eat, when to eat it. I like to eat. That's all there is to it. Give me pizza, man. I'm on it. Like pizza is my game. I, I Not having a glass of wine on Wednesday, like what? for 80 days. I'm not an alcoholic, but man, like there's things I'm very habitual about and I, and I can become very habitual about things. And then all of a sudden I get to a place where I'm like, I, it makes me anxious to not think about that. I don't want to be on an 80 day nutrition plan. I'm like, dude, okay. Right. But at the same time, I do want to see the results. And I have never been able in my entire life to get to a place where I've got a ripped six pack, right? Or what, like there are goals in this that I know this will achieve that make me read like, that's what I want. Like I want to do it not so much for the look, but just because I want to, I want to prove to myself that I can, right? Like I want to make that change. I know this will do it, but man, it's, it's makes me a little bit anxious, but it is what it is. Like I have to dial into it, right? Like we have to do those uncomfortable things. Um, so that I think is a big deal, like being able to build your confidence to do it, but then also recognizing that how much confidence it's going to build in you when you did it, right? When you're like, man, I don't know if I can do 60 minutes. That's terrifying to me, but I did for 80 dang days and look what happened, right? And even if it isn't a massive physical change, what about the massive mental change and the fact that you're like, you know what? I, I can't follow that nutrition plan. I don't know if anybody, whoever in here did shift shop and really followed the nutrition plan on shift shop. But I know that, like, I felt proud when I got done with that. That was 21 days of, holy man, that's dialed. And I've never been so dialed in on a nutrition plan than ever in my life that I did on that program. Regardless of the results, my thing was, okay, I did it. I did 21 days, and I did not waver from that nutrition plan. Bam, or whatever it was. I don't remember how many days it was. I think it was 30 days. Um, Yeah, sorry. It was, you know, I don't remember. I, I did not waver. Which just tells me that, hey, when this comes around, it's not going to be necessarily what I want to do, but I can do it because I've done it before, right? And that's a big deal to me. That's part of the reason I think this is so important. Um, Deanna did say they are going to be talking a lot about the the, uh, uh, performance line. Guys, I'm going to, I'm personally, like, I've been drinking Recover for a long time. It drives me nuts when we don't have it around the house, only because I've I've drank post-workout shakes and and pre-workout stuff for years and years and years before I ever started with Beachbody in any, any format at all. I drank I, every day. I drank it because it was easy and it was something that I knew I needed. And every trainer I ever talked to said, you need to have these nutrients um, or the, you know, this amount of carbs and sugars and all this crap after you work out and all this stuff before you work out, because if you want results, this is how you do it. Every single one I've ever worked with did that. And so it was a natural part of me. Now with recover, it wasn't until I drank it for a while that I realized like now I, it drives me nuts when I don't have it because I see the results, but more importantly, there's nothing in any of the performance line that's bad for me. There's no, a bunch of, there's no chemicals and a bunch of other stuff, which I love and it's dialed. I don't have to think about it. But when you're tiling into a result like this, to me, I'm going to do everything I can to amplify the results that I get. Cause if I'm putting in the work, I want to see the change. 
So for me, when they're telling me, look, this is important, I know for them, it's not about like, hey, I'm just gonna try to sell a bunch of stuff. It's not how it works with, with them. It's like, if you want the best results you can get, these are important keys to that. And so that's personally why I'm all over it. Um, we all know how Energize is. I don't know if I personally can't live without Energize. So that's part of the game for me. Um, so I'm doing the rest of it too. But the, the bigger thing is that group that she was talking about, being able to get that little pack and jump into a group with Autumn Calabrese, that's invaluable to me. Being able to ask her questions in live, like, hey, I'm having this concern, what do I do? And have her be able to respond to you that is an epic bit. That is an epic tool. Also think about it this way. You're running a challenge group or you're in a challenge group or you're working with somebody. They have a question. You get to be, Hey, no problem. Hold on a second. Let me go ask autumn and pop into that challenge group and then ask autumn the question, let her respond. So you don't even have to worry about where do I find the answer to this person's sore here? What do they do? Right? I don't, I don't know. Well, I don't, you don't have to know autumn knows and we'll be in that group with her. Right. So that's a massive deal to be able to not just ask her questions, but be able to ask her questions for other people, the other people that you're helping. That's huge to me. So that was one of the important things. I don't know if you guys saw that post about how you get involved with that group. Um, reach out if you don't know, uh, comment below this, if you're watching this afterward or whatever, or reach out to Deanna or I, and we'll tell you how to get involved with it. It's easy, but I'm all over that damn group. Um, and then, uh, I think that's all as far as why I'm excited about it. Um, Jenna, what is our schedule? And I'll tell you guys exactly what we're doing to kind of get ready for it. What's going on? Okay. So we have, um, a oh, one quick thing I wanted to say too, if you have people that are kind of on the fence about coaching, whether or not because they want to build a business or just because, you know, people have, have a stigma about that word coach. Um, I know like dusty, she was kind of like, I just didn't like that word coach even for the discount. Right. Even if I'm like, Hey, you can save 16 bucks a month on your Shakeology. You don't have to actively coach. But this is a really great, another really great way to be able to share another reason to get signed up as a coach, whether for the business or for the discount. Hey, if you get signed up as a coach and you get one of these accessory packs, you get to be in a group with Autumn because the only requirement is that you need to be a coach and you need to buy one of these accessory packs. And one of the accessory packs is just the sliders, the bands, and the portion control containers, which most of us already have, but we don't have the sliders and the bands. Um, so we need at least that to do 80 day obsessions anyways. Right. And then adding on the performance line, which is amazing. They have a couple different options for that as well. Like you can just get one and one. So you can just get like, if you haven't tried recover or energize, there's actually an option to get everything with just one, um, order of energize. I think it actually might be two orders of, um, recover. I'm not sure. Um, if you don't want to do the whole bundle, but it's actually at a really, really good saving. So, um, what do you, what do you want me to say again? Oh, the, uh, um, there we go. Okay. The schedule, but, but hold on one second oh. hey guys. I, I want to, at some point, I don't think I'm going to do this in the team page. I want to try to figure out if I can pull everybody together and come out with a, a word beside coach. But like I hate that word now I'm getting to a place where I'm just like, I want another, because it's not indicative of what we do. We're, I mean, in my opinion, we're professional online accountability partners. I'd love to pull you guys together and everybody in, in the team and just say, what, what's another good word that you guys, that we all can agree on. And then just from now on, refer to ourselves as this, right? Because we don't have to be trained to, you know, like we're just, we're just there to help support people. Like that's what we do. We share and support. So there's gotta be another name. So I'm going to do that in the team page. I love you guys to chime in and, and throw out some ideas in there because I think it'd be great. Um, can you give people that just the schedule of when we're running or um, yes. a little bit obsessed? And Yes. So, um, and I don't have this like perfectly figured out in my mind yet. I'm still like thinking about it, but we have a current group now that goes through, gets us through the holidays. So it takes us through Christmas day. And then um, a little obsessed actually comes out December 20th, which is on a Wednesday. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be running a little obsessed group, which I believe it's five days. I think it's five days of workouts and it'll provide you with a nutrition plan too. So it's going to be similar to clean week which is really, really awesome. So you're going to get um, the nutrition plan and the workouts and you'll be able to, to allow people to sample it before the paywall or ahead of the paywall like clean week. So then that way they don't have to add a credit card number. You can get them plugged into a group. You can get them committed and then you can give them the opportunity to check out a little obsessed and get them excited and, you know, see those small wins, the soreness that they're going to feel that first week. 
but the, you know, the little bits of change that, you know, and the excitement that, okay, we've got a big 80 day group. Is this something you want to do? So I'm running a group on starting the 26th of December. And then I'm going to do one the day, cause I figured the day after Christmas, you know, people are like, Oh, I overate. Same with new year's. Right. So I'm starting one on the 26th of December and another one on January 2nd. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this, but there's a lot, it's really important um, to be kind of prepped for this program. So this isn't a beginner's program. I mean, it definitely has modifications and things like that, but um, it's not something that you, if you haven't worked out in years and then also you want to jump in this program. So I'm telling people that I'm talking to that want to do the program that starts January 15th, because that's when it actually launches and everybody's going live with their groups. You don't just want to start then. I'm like, we need to start now. We need to start kind of giving you that foundation and, you know, getting your body moving, getting it used to, you know, picking up some weights or, you know, just getting active. Right. And so um, I'm telling people we need to start now. So whether or not people um, like my group is halfway over that I have going on right now, but I'm still plugging people into it. Cause I'm like, it's important that you start moving your body now. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. Absolutely. So from an invite perspective, guys, um, that's why this is so important. You've got the December 26th. We've got the December 26th group to invite people to. That's a free group. We've got um, January 2nd group to invite people to. That's a free group. But beyond that, we're inviting people to a larger group as well, right? Which is the, the January 15th or 18th group, which is the actual day that it's, you know, the launch date group. Before, so before that, we can spend this month and say, okay, invite people to the larger group, right? And then plug them into an ongoing group right now with anything like 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme, you know, whatever it's going to, whatever's going to best get them prepped depending on their level where they're at right now. They just started and they've never worked out before 21 day fix, get them, get their body moving, just kind of get them worked and ready and, and, and headed in a direction that when they do get started in general with the group of uh, the obsessed group, then all of a sudden they're not like, what is going on, right? So it gives us an opportunity to invite to that, but while inviting to that, we don't have to wait for that. We can invite them to this month, right now, today. We don't even have to have a group. So it's, we're not even like pigeonholed by, my group doesn't start until January you know, January 15th. Okay, I gotta wait. It's too soon to invite people now because they, won't, they don't wanna get signed up. What are they gonna do beforehand, right? We don't have to worry about any of that. It's invite them now, plug them in now. It doesn't matter when the group started that you plug them into right now everybody starts at their own time and then the big group starts. So this is just, this is just an exceptionally long prep week. Right. And then the big group starts in, you know, mid January. So it's perfect timing. It gives us the perfect opportunity to not have to stress over dates of when to invite people to, to the larger group. We've got that big date, you know, in January. And then this up leading up to that is just invite people and they just jump in. Now we put them, plug them into the group and support them and support them and start getting their body moving. And then boom, they're ready to go for, for January. So that's a big deal. But then we also have for the people that are like, you know, maybe haven't known us long enough to fully trust what's going on yet, or maybe just aren't ready or, or want to, you know, taste test something. Then you've got the 26th and you've got the, uh, the second to be able to offer them value from like the said, and before they have to pay for it, right. ahead of the paywall and get them an idea of what this is going to be like, right. Or people that are a little bit, you know, like I'm excited to get to get involved with people that are actually like, and I, and this is actually who I'm inviting a lot. I'm inviting the people that I've reached out to before and asked them and they said, I'm already doing CrossFit or I'm already doing orange theory or I'm already doing X, Y, Z. And they're like, I've already got a plan and everything's good. I'm reaching out to those people and I'm like, Hey, FYI, Hey, I know you were doing Orange Theory and you loved it. I think that's awesome. Look, I'm looking for some people that are already into fitness. You would be the perfect person for a group like this. I love your feedback. Here's how it's going to work. Or is it something that you might be interested in jumping in? Right? Like, I'm, I'm talking to those people specifically because I know that this, if you're already into fitness, you're already into CrossFit, this ain't going to be, this isn't going to be something that you're just going to walk through. This is going to be something that's still going to get you results. And I also know that most of those things, Orange Theory, CrossFit, all that other stuff that people are doing, well, hey, I'm not against it at all. Whatever gets you moving your body, great. But I also know that a lot of those don't have nutrition plans. And if they do have a nutrition plan, they're really confusing because it's just like eat paleo. It doesn't really talk about macros and stuff. Or the ones that I've seen, you know, they don't have that um, broken down as much as this is. They're not talking about timed nutrition. They're not talking about real, like, honest, hey, just eat this stuff and 
fill these little containers. This makes it so simple that I know that once you dial that in, all of a sudden now you see the visual changes as much as you see the strength changes from the workouts. So I think there's a lot of a benefit to that. So I'm talking to those people specifically as well. Uh, I'm not discounting them. And perfect place to, hey, we'll jump in this free group. Let's see what it's all about. You know, at least it gives them minimum option. Does that make sense to everybody? Yep. Does anybody have questions about uh, uh, anything <clears throat> involved in that? How to invite people or what groups to put people in or what do you do with anybody? Or just any questions in general about yeah. 80-day obsession because I know that it, it can be kind of, I mean, it's going to be really super simple, um, but I know that sometimes it can be kind of confusing. People have a lot of questions about it. So if you guys have any questions, we'll try to answer them. Anybody, everybody got it? Okay. Um, so there's that video, that video that Autumn, she talks about a lot. So make sure that you plug in and watch that. It's like an hour long, but it's legit information. Start at like three minutes. I think fast forward about three minutes. Um, but it's information that if you want to understand, which we do, here's the other thing, guys, even if you don't do 80 day obsession, even if you never plan on doing it, it's just not your workout for whatever reason. Okay watch the video, understand the workouts from a, if you're a coach and you're, and you're trying to help people from a business perspective and from a perspective of adding value, understand what it is so that the people that you're talking to, you know what it's about for them, right? And so at least have that knowledge of what's going on. So make sure you watch the video regardless of if you're going to do it. Watch the video that we posted so that you can kind of get an idea of what it's all about, what happens, and who knows, maybe you'll hear something in there that goes, oh, wait a minute, you know what? Actually, I do want to try it because I heard this. Or maybe not, who knows? But definitely check it out. It's good information. Um, all right, guys. Well, if nobody has any other questions, uh, we're going to leave you with that. Just remember those dates. Um, anybody that needs access to, to help people and plug into a group, um, reach out to us December 26th, January 2nd, and then the bigger group starts in January, in January 15th or so. All right, everybody? Sound good? Everybody thumbs up? Okay. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I do appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys taking the time to come on. And if you guys have any questions, like I said, you know, we're at the last thing. Sorry, before I go, real quick, last thing. If you are a newer coach or you're having struggles in any way with inviting people or how that conversation goes, I want you to do me a huge favor. If you're sending out a ton of invites, if you're inviting people every single day and it's going time after time after time and you're getting no responses or the conversation gets hung up and you can't really help people get, get to a place where they want to jump, you know, jump in a group, I want you to start um, photo, photo, uh, uh, oh my gosh, uh, screenshotting your, the, the conversation, so the invite and then how they respond. You, in, you send an invite, somebody responds, screenshot that response right? And either send it to Deanna, send it to me, send it to your coach, have them start walking you through the process. Um, we might even have, have you guys um, throw it into the team page to see how do you respond to it? Because I want us to start being able to work together and collaborate on this. Many times it's something sim simple, like just how we're del delivering the information, how much, maybe we're too much, too little, whatever it is. And we can walk you kind of through the process. So Make sure that we use this team as a team. Let's work together on this, on everything, and not be so separated and just, I'm going to do my thing here and I'm going to do my thing over here. Bring it together to the photo. How would you respond to this? I don't know what to say, right? Or I've been struggling with this. What, and you're going to get different responses from me that you are with Deanna. You know, Jen's going to say something different, right? Madeline's going to respond a different way. Everyone's going to respond a little bit different. And then it gives you the ability to be able to pull from that and say, okay, this is more like me. This is what I would use. And we can share what's been successful for us because, you know, I, I think it's important that we work together like that. So do that, please. And uh, otherwise, you guys have a fantastic Saturday or the rest of Saturday. Um, everybody eat well, guys. And we will see you guys very soon. All right. Okay. Thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you.